We get so crazy. Sage knows this too. Maybe our, our lives, our jobs, everything. Man, it has us hopping. And uh, sometimes you just need to, you need to try to step back, you try to not hurry. One of my favorite, one of my favorite authors is, is a philosopher or a theologian, Dallas Willard, who, who said, the great roadblock to a spiritual life is hurry. And what he said is we must ruthlessly eliminate hurry from our lives. You know, ruthlessly is a pretty strong word. This means, this is not, hey, you should consider removing hurry from your life, or hey, it might be a nice idea to not hurry. He says, That's, if it's for me, I'm speaking. Um, <laughs> He, he says, ruthlessly, he's get rid of it, because what does hurry do? Man, it, you're here, it's I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss my flight, I'm going to miss this meeting. I've got, and, if you, and if you ruthlessly eliminate hurry, it allows you to look up. It allows you to see the person who needs two minutes of your time. It allows you to see the person who's saying, hey man, can you help me out? And think of a way you can help them out. So I've tried to eliminate hurry as much as I can. I have a couple of visual aids for you today. But this, what I carry with me every day is this collection of stuff in this little bag. It used to, I used to just let it put it in here free, then I was losing stuff. But I've, I've, got, I've got pennies. I've got a little thing that says joy. I've got a, a, a seashell from a favorite place where my family goes. And, and I've got all these pennies. And the, the thing about the pennies is that each of them, the date on each of them has significance in my life, that 1997 penny, which is the year that I met this guy named Jesus and changed my life. It is, I'm telling you. Yeah, I met him at this church, but then I really got to know him at this old Charlie's restaurant in a, in a lunch with my pastor, um, who had told me, I said, man, you know, God's messing with me at this stage of my life in 1997. I said, God's messing with me. And so we're having lunch, and he says, you know, you're a prayer away. And we did. We joined hands at this O'Charlie's restaurant. I, I was having the, the uh, southern chicken salad with honey mustard on the side, a little sweet tea. And, uh, and it was a life-changing day. Because only in that moment was I able, from that point on in my life, to switch from a me-centered life to a God-centered life. You know, and I, Mark, you talked about basketball being your God for a while, and it was the same thing. It was like, it was like my job. It was like this broadcasting career. It was, it was all about me. And it was such a change in 1997 on December 10th to a Christ-centered life, to a purpose-filled life.